In this screencast, we will provision and prepare a virtual machine for an Agile installation. To begin, we'll select our Windows 2008 SP1 template, and we will deploy a new virtual machine. And I'm going to put it in our demonstration VMs folder, and I'm going to call it VM hyphen Agile 9302. Now here at Zero Wait State, we have a standard of naming our virtual machines and prefixing them with VM hyphen. I'll select the server and the data store. Now the template already uses thin provisioning, otherwise I'd select it here. And I want to go ahead and edit the hardware. I want to bump up the memory to six gigs and also I need to add a hard drive for the line of business applications. In this case it happens to be Agile. And I also want this to be thin provisioned. This is just a test virtual machine. Okay, so now we can go ahead and watch tasks and monitor the, the progress of the creation of the virtual machine. Okay, with our virtual machine created, we're going to go ahead and add some notes here. What I'm really interested in is knowing the login. So I'm going to add a note so other administrators in our organization that get into vCenter will know how to log into this VM. It is just a test virtual machine. If it was production, I would probably not put the password in the notes. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and use a static IP. Most of our test VMs we use a loopback connector, but in this case I'm going to go ahead and assign a static IP to it. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and set the IP address. Okay, now we need to change the host name on the machine. Now again, this is just a test box. If this was production, I'd probably have it bound to our domain. But given how we use our virtual machines, occasionally we can export these, we can run them locally. So I'm just going to leave it in a work group. But again, adhering to our standard, we'll prefix this virtual machine with VM hyphen. I want to check this so it doesn't launch every time here. And now we can restart the machine.
So another thing I want to do here is for the administrative user, I don't want the password to expire on it. Again, production, this is not what you'd want. But for test purposes, um, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and say password never expires. Still haven't got used to the new Windows Explorer. Okay, so our second hard drive didn't show up. So let's go ahead and um, add that volume. Just call this data and do a quick format. So with our partition uh, and volume all set up now, we can go ahead and copy over the installers and, and get ready to uh, install Agile on this virtual machine. So I will start this copy. Okay, so while that's working, let's go ahead and verify our settings here for our machine. You can see our static IP is there. We have uh, 160 is the IP address. Let's double check our host name, make sure that looks good. And it does. The last step I typically take when a machine is ready for a line of business applications is to create a snapshot. So I'm going to create that snapshot now. Say the host is configured. Give it a little bit of a description. And now again, if we go down to tasks, we can watch the progress. And now let's go to snapshot manager. And we can see our snapshot. So now we're ready for the agile install.